Hi everyone, my name is Phil and welcome to Phil Does 3D. I'm a multimedia and 3D artist and I stream live on Twitch on Mondays and Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Pacific time if you're in the US, that's midday if you're in Australia or around 1 or 2 a.m. if you're in the Europe and the UK. <laughs> I hope you guys and girls had a good weekend. Smurf variant, selfless one. What's up with you? Did you guys have a good weekend? It's good to see ya. Now remember guys, if you do miss the live streams, you can catch up at any time by clicking the videos tab on my Twitch channel. Uh, I upload all my previous streams to Twitch, or you can also watch them on my YouTube channel forward slash Bill Does 3D. Uh, if you want to become a Fildo and join the Fildo's 3D Discord server, you can either type exclamation Discord in Twitch chat or go to the About Me section on my Twitch channel and look in the panels for a blue graphic. Okay, so we're going to continue working on the Nuvo entry hallway for the game The House on the Hollow that you can wishlist on Steam. Again, go to the About Me section on my Twitch channel and you'll find a graphic that will take you to the Steam store page. Or if you're watching me back on YouTube, look in the description below this video for a uh, link to the Steam store page. <coughs> Pardon me guys. Tamana, thank you for the 56 month subscription. You are absolutely awesome and I cannot believe I've been streaming on Twitch for that long. I think I'm losing my voice. <coughs> 56 months Tamana, wow that's amazing. God, have I been streaming that long? Oh, four years, really? Has it been that long? Man, <laughs> it doesn't feel like that long. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah, so I hope you guys and girls are well. You had a good weekend. As always, if you've got any questions while I work, feel free to pop into chat and ask. If you just want to pop in and say hello like these guys, that's always welcome. But if all you want to do is watch, that's completely fine. So, um, yeah, I think I want to finish the uh, the hallway section today. Fingers crossed. We'll see how we go. You know what I'm like. I'm a real chatterbox. Um, so if we get that done and we still have a little time left today, then we'll jump into retexturing. There's a, a model of a, like a ruined church that I want to retexture. So we'll be doing that in Substance Painter. But the final texturing for the hallway, uh, I think there's only one asset left that I need to do and we'll take that into, into Painter. And then there's just a couple of assets I want to take into Mari by the Foundry to just to add some hand painted detailing work on. So it was adequate, Smurfer says. Oh, <clears throat> adequate's best than better than bad. So we'll take adequate. That's okay. I'm just going to grab a quick drink and try and clear my throat. Alrighty. Hopefully Phil won't lose his voice. So, uh, let's jump straight into Mac, shall we? And check out the hallway. Now, the only difference as to what you guys would have seen uh, on last week's stream is I've added some ivy. So I've added ivy just here, there and everywhere. <laughs> That's the only change that from last week's stream though. You guys have seen me grow ivy before. And if you haven't, then look at one of the previous streams of mine because you'll see me doing it. Um, so what we're going to do here is the think the only asset left to retexture. Ignore this this side of the building because that's not that's the untextured. We're going to be using this side and duplicating it, which is the dirtied up version. Uh, but we, I haven't done the turret here, so I'm, we must do one of the turrets anyway. Let's do that. Let's isolate it. And uh, um, 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 how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? We're going to separate the windows. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that anyway because I need to add like uh, an opacity to them. So, so let's start by doing that. I should not have attached the windows. They need to be kept separate. I forgot that I had to dirty this up. So, and I want to keep it separate, like I said, so that when we bring it into Unreal, we can add opacity to where the uh, windows are. 
we're just going to detach them briefly and we need to re uv map this yeah because um these are quixel assets these are not my assets but we're dirtying them up because they're way too clean and i've noticed with some of the quixel assets for some reason they have overlapping uvs uvs which is not what we want <laughs> i love it thanks uh, thanks selfless one uh so yeah let's start by doing that so we're going to center the pivot i'm just going to duplicate it we're going to send it to Ryzen. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, anyway. Um, let's try this one. Come on, Ryzen, you can do it. Hang on, what? Someday he'll notice. <laughs> what? 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 What have I? What have I not noticed? What have I not noticed? My mic is unmuted. The music is playing. What have I forgotten? What's going on? <laughs> You're making me paranoid. Quixel UV for sure, definitely overlaps, but getting better. <laughs> like, and that's a very odd unwrap, so let's uh, let's get out of that. Let's try this one. Just gonna give it a quick optimize. Wow, it's really, I've mentioned this before with uh, Ryzen, sometimes it can have a real problem. Let's, um, go back and try one of the other unwrap. Amazing, but it's better than the other one. Let's just try one of the others quickly. We'll probably come back to the pelt. <clears throat> I dare say we will go back to pelt, but yeah, I think we're going to go back to pelt. Yes, Selfless One says Quixel UV for sure, definitely overlaps, but getting better. Smurf says Tamana sub for the 56 My oh, Cyber! Where were you before? <laughs> I said thank you to Tamana right as I started the stream, but I'll say it again because she has sub for 56 months in a row, which is absolutely amazing. So I was saying to you guys, I can't believe I've been streaming on Twitch for that long. That's like over four years. Over four years. I cannot believe it. I'm a curious man, some curious genes. I get that from my dad. I'm not far from the tree. And thank you, Tamana, for the fifty-six month subscription. That is absolutely awesome. I features <laughs> But I did I did thank her. At the beginning of the stream. Selfless one said, I said, love it when you talked about the ivy. Ah, so you, okay. I did see you say love it. 
I was assuming you meant the IV. Hang on, what's going on here? Talked about it for sure. Yeah, I did. I did thank Tamana. But we can thank her again because that is amazing. 56 months is, she is, I think, my longest subscriber, actually. She was one of my very first subs. And she's continued her sub streak for 56 months in a row. It's amazing. Let's copy that to that. And we can get rid of that. Now let's try doing a bake to texture. Garden hallway, corner squared. No, we don't want to call it that. We want to call it garden. Hang on, let's let's get rid of this and start afresh. Uh, turret, that sounds better. Entry, hallway, bake, that's fine. And now I think it might be baking out the wrong texture map. <laughs> I'll have a look at that in a sec once it finishes here. <laughs> but I think it's, it's the wrong UV channel it's trying to bake out here. Oh, no, UV channel 2. Hang on. Let me have a look here. Now this is interesting. You see that when I did the copy of the unwrap from the other turret, from the from the copy that we made, it has not brought it over, which is strange. Why did it not bring it over? Let's just go back. And let me check here. That channel two. See, this is what it should be doing. For some reason, when I try and copy it over, it doesn't like it. Why is that? Let's try it again. Copy. Paste. Yeah, you see, it's not, it's not copying the UVs. Generally, when that happens, it means that there's some difference between the meshes, like one has more polys or more words than the other. But you saw me make a direct copy of this asset, so I don't understand why Max is not copying pasting like that. That's very odd. Very odd. Can we get around it? Let's see. We can. Maybe, maybe. Do an unwrap to channel one, which is the original. Let's copy that. Let's go to this one. Okay, now it seems to be what's going on is the uh, I've, I've temporarily disabled Verizon UV mapping. And that's causing a bit of a problem here for the unwrap. I've not run into this issue before in Max. Whoops. No, I can't do that. I need, to, I need to keep the original texture. But I need the new UVs. Uh, Smith says, help, I'm in a few state. Surplus one says, are the normals reversed and pointing in the correct way on the copy? Let's have a look. Let's put an edit normals down. It looks like it might be a normals problem. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to just trash this copy to begin with. We're going to check the normals on the uh, original. Do a reset. Collapse the stack. Let's double check it's not flipped, and it's not. You could be right there, selfless one. Let's try this again. So let's do a copy. 
So it's a direct copy. There is no difference. Send it to Ryzen. There's a new. Do a pulp map. Someone to pre smurf says <laughs> This is three D, you guys know you've done you do three D yourselves that um, there's always something in three D. Always. Let's optimize it. Repack it. Optimize it. Send it back. Okay. Now we should be able to do an unwrap UVW. I'm going to move it to Math Channel 2 and I'm going to move the UV. I open it. That's correct. Snappy Girl! Hey Snappy Girl, it's good to see you. It says, uh, the priest said not only not only he can fix it, sorry. <laughs> it's good to see you, Sniper Girl. How are you? Okay, let's try copying this uh, UV unwrap over and see how we go. Okay, it still will not copy the unwrap over. So, and it's not the normals. Nothing is flipped. Bizarre. Selfless one says, hi, Snappy Girl says, I mistyped that. Supposed to be not even he can fix it. Sorry, <laughs> not even the priest can fix it. It's bizarre. I, I've never seen it do this, actually. Well, the only time I've seen this sort of thing happen, like I said, is when you're trying to copy UVs to a model from one to another that is not exactly the same. It has One has less or more polys, one has less or more verts. These are identical. There should be no reason that we can't copy the UVs across. Let's see if we can get around it by... Bye, 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 bye. Let's go through the channel info instead. So we're going to select the one that we've UV mapped to channel 2. And let's see if we can't. It won't let me paste it which indicates that the, as far as Max is concerned, these two models are not identical, <laughs> but we know they are identical. So that's a new one. That is a new one. All right, how can we get around it? Um, let's try third time. Let's try doing it this way. Let's delete this one. Let's duplicate this one again, the original. Let's send it to Ryzen, but instead of a new, let's do... Uh, let's do this. Let's uh, do an unwrap, move it to Map Channel 2. Now let's do a Ryzen and do an edit. Okay. Actually, let's jump back into Max really quickly. Well, let, let's do this here, and then I want to jump back into Max and see if we can do it another way. Um, yeah, let's do that. So I'm just going to... do a pelt map. Whoa! Ryzen crashed. Aha, uh -huh, that's interesting. Again, it might be the plugin we're using here. Because the plugin is a bit buggy. But let's see if we can do it another way. Uh, I'm going to throw an unwrap down on the original. And I'm going to get Max to do a repack. Uh, I'm 
I'm not going to use the button packing method. I want to have a bit more control over it. We will fill holes, rescale, not rotate and normalize. Might be able to get away with doing it this way. Uh, let's unwrap. Let's move that to channel two. Let's copy the unwrap to the original. Check it. Look, and again, this is weird. Really, really, really weird. This is so bizarre. Um, okay. well, what we can do then is we can try this. Let's do an unwrap on the original. Uh, map channel 2. Let's repack it again. Everything except rotate. We can get rid of this one. Now let's try and do a bake out on this one, the original. I know it gets a bit confusing here, but this is the original again. Uh, central hallway, all looks good. Now that's weird. Why did that crash out like that? Uh, looks like I'm having some issue going on here. I wonder if it's if Mar the only thing different today is I have Mari running in the background. It's not, it's not, it's open, but with no project because we want to jump into it soon. Let's, let's do this. Let's remove this. Let's add it again. Map channel two. That's all good. That's all good. Overwrite. There we go. <laughs> Max was just being Maxi. All right, so now we can bring in that new texture. Oh, the joys of 3D. Entry hallway, baked. Turret. Oops, let's assign it. Would help if I select it. Let's channel info it and copy. Good. Now we are going to have to reattach the um, windows again, but we'll do that after we've retextured it in Substance Painter. So let's export this. into entry hallway bank exports garden hallway tart uh, yes we can replace it <laughs> selfless one says don't make me remash and bake it in houdini for you Oh, what's wrong, Smurf? I see the F, the F <laughs> letter there. Let's create a new project. Now again, we're doing 4K, but the engine will knock it back to 2K anyway. Nubo hallway exports. Turret.
Um, let's put current text. Now we do have a smart material, but do you think I can remember what I called it? Not on your life. Let's see if we can filter it and find it. Hopefully I put mine in front of it. Yes, this is it here. Oh, actually, before we do this, we need to... <laughs> Why have you done this? Oh, that's right. We need to um, bring in the texture map, don't we? So let's do that. Mm, exports. We want baked. And we want that. Do that, and we want to do that. That's better. Let's get rid of that blank layer. Oh, I haven't baked it out. I'm thinking, why am I not getting the the, the dirt layer like we're supposed to have? It would help if I bake the map out. <laughs> Man. F is for crash. <laughs> yes, F is for crash. Don't you love it when software crashes? to make any changes. Maybe. Pull the dirt up on this one a little bit. Because this is actually outside of the uh, hole, so I guess it would. Um, We'll dirty up a bit more. I'm less likely to notice the repeating because we're going to duplicate the same turret four times. But because it's outside and up high, the player is unlikely to notice any repeating pattern going on. So we should be all right. Girl says, didn't feel like cooking, so I ordered pizza. Well, there's nothing wrong with pizza. Yum. What sort of pizza? My favorite's chicken and avocado with chili. But I, I like a good pepperoni as well. Hey, Euro, it's good to see you. Pineapple, Euro says, you like the pineapple. I don't like pineapple so much. I don't, just even the fruit, the, the fruit itself, I, I don't know, it's too bitter. But yes, pineapple on pizza, pineapple on ham is very popular here in Australia. But yeah, I like chicken, avocado and chili. Oh, I'm hungry now. <laughs> uh, exports? Yeah, I think so. Sniper Girl says stuffed crust, ooh, pepperoni, sausage and small tomatoes. Oh, that sounds nice too. I am hungry now. 
That's all right. I'll have lunch after the stream. Okay, let's bring in that new texture map. Garden hallway carrot. That's the one we want. Okay, now we just need to reattach the um, the windows to the rest of it. So let's collapse the stack and attach the windows. And jump out of isolation mode. Here we go. <laughs> Alright. So hopefully we can get this room finished today. Because tomorrow is a just chat stream, so we can talk about anything and everything you guys want to talk about tomorrow. Uh Yura says I always go for the meat feast option. Well that's always a good option, anything with lots of meat. Uh, selfless one says corn crust or flour. Another girl says had a 50% off coupon code. Also learn learn yeah. ten dollars <laughs> off. Maybe she says earned ten dollars off from what I ordered from the from them. So it uh, was like eighteen bucks with the tip. Left five dollar tip. Oh, that's pretty generous of you there. That's something you know. That's something that I don't. We don't have so much in Australia. I know shipping overseas and particularly in the United States uh, is very big and for good reason because those people don't get paid very much. But we don't tend to do it in Australia. It's sort of maybe built into the salary that um, people earn over here when they work in the in the hospitality industry. I mean you can and people do tip but it's not expected to tip. So it, it's rarer to get a tip than it isn't. Whereas it's the opposite in the US, but again, it's because of the um, the amount of money those people make. So I, I get it, and that's a good tip. Earned a ten yards. That's I thought you meant earned. Sniper girl, no problem. Smurfs. Sniper girl says that reminds me, eight k points until you play the game. <laughs> no, because <laughs> I see that Make It 3D says he, it recommends you save it up for the extended torture. He, he says it will be glorious. And it will be torture, making me play some pony game, little pony game, or some pony game from Steam. That's going to be fun. <laughs> um, okay, so the turret, 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 turret. Is dirtied up. I may even... Um, I was going to say I might bring it into Substance Painter, but I'm less concerned with the turrets outside. I'm more concerned with uh, with the assets inside here, making them look a little bit more unique. Just a couple of them that we'll take into Mari. Sniper Girl says, uh, if I have a discount or anything like that, I tip what the price would have been without the discount. If that makes sense, yeah, that does make sense. That's that's a really sensible and smart way to do it, Sniper Girl, actually. Yeah. Good way to do it. But again, um, we don't tend to tip here in Australia. Looking at my case lighting as well. <laughs> Normally my RAM goes out of sync, or like it's not in sync when the colours change, but it, it is at the moment, which is very odd. Yeah, very big, very nice. Um, yeah, we don't tend to tip over here. People can and people do, but it's not expected. All right, so now I just want to take a couple of these assets into Mari to just to hand paint some uh, dirt on them. Not all of the assets, just a couple. Like we'll take this ring, we'll take this ceiling border piece. Um, we will. I, I want to like ground these pieces a little bit more, so we'll take them in, so we can add some dirt to them and one of the columns. But aside from that, I don't think I want to take anything else in. So just. One, two, three, four, five, maybe six here, but we'll see how we go. I guess we'll start with uh, these large ceiling beams. Uh, Snappy Girl says, I just figured that I shouldn't punish the delivery person because I got a good discount on something. Well, that's true. And, you know, these people, they don't earn a lot of money. So 
it was a good thing to do and a good good way to work out how to do it how much to do it uh, snappy girl says we'll be honest wishing people got paid a living wage without the need of a tip yeah it would be good wouldn't it if these companies actually paid their workers what they're worth and what they should be you know paid I don't, you've got a minimum wage in the United States, which actually it's just been increased, hasn't it? Hasn't it gone up to like 15 US dollars an hour or something? I could be wrong, but I thought when Biden came into power, they got some minimum wage thing through and it went up. Um, we have a minimum wage as well in this country. I think the minimum wage here is like 28 Australian dollars an hour. But that doesn't stop some businesses from trying to employ people for less than the minimum wage. And I always thought that was illegal, you know, but I'm not sure what's going on with that at the moment. Because I've, I've seen stories of people in this country being ripped off by being paid under the minimum wage. So, yeah, I don't know what the story there is. Here it says, uh, in food places, I tip if the food was outstanding. If it was average or worse, they don't get no tip. Fair enough. Sniper Girl says, uh, no, it was a promise, oh, by Biden, one of one that he hasn't fought for at all. Oh, really? Oh, man. From what I've heard, he's not doing well in the polls either, Mr. Biden, which is a shame. Um, not that I know him. Well, you know, I'm just, he's better than Trump, put it that way. Uh, he seems to be anyway. But yeah, I, 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 that's a shame. I don't know why. Is he finding it hard to get it through the Senate or how, however it works over there? It's export selected. We're going to create a new folder here. We're going to call this one um, painted. Just so it's separate. And this is the roof beams. I'm pretty sure Mari takes FBX. Now, it's been a while since I've used Mari, so <laughs> bear with me if it takes me a while to get back into the swing of what how it works again. Because I haven't used Mari for a little while. I haven't, all the work I've been doing hasn't needed Mari. Uh, Yuri says, we do here too, but it's so low that anyone earning it, it's pretty much classed as in poverty. Having a minimum wage, yeah. <clears throat> Selfless one says, minimum wage in states is on a per state basis. I didn't know that. See, in Australia, the minimum wage is set by the federal government, so it, it it's across all states in Australia. I didn't know that the one in the US was set by the individual states. Mm. That's interesting, selfless one. Smurf says the federal minimum hasn't been increased in many years. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, 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 I saw a news report months and months and months ago where I thought Mr. Biden was going, President Biden, uh, was going to increase the minimum wage. And I thought that had happened, but obviously not. Which is a real shame. Snipey Girl says minimum wage in the US is $7.25 an hour. Man. Tipped wages. Tipped wage is $2.13. Each state can have it higher, but some of them in the South have it the bare minimum. Uh, the, the South of the United States is such an interesting place. I'm sorry, guys. I don't, I don't mean to insult any of you guys that live in the Southern states of the United States, but you've got some real interesting people living down there. That's all I'll say. Places like Texas and Florida. Hmm. Well, isn't that where Mr. Trump lives now? That says it all, doesn't it? He lives in Florida. Seven dollars twenty-five an hour, though. That's disgusting. That is so low. How can anyone afford to live on that? I, I know that's American, but even converted into Australian, that's just terrible. Euro says everywhere has real interesting locals. That's true. <laughs> Australia has some real interesting ones as well. Don't worry. Um. Snappy Girl says, yeah, Biden isn't much better than Trump. There's a lot of uh, policies that he carried over from Trump. If it's Biden and Trump again, I won't vote. <laughs> oh, please tell me Mr. Trump won't come back, though. Please. Oh, please. Uh, look, uh, just from an interested observer, I don't live in the United States, so it won't really affect me either way. But, man, you don't want to get Trump back again. He was just such a... Such a disaster for the world. 
I see that he's uh, launched his own social media network that was crashing and no one could access. Yeah, apparently that happened last night. I thought that was quite funny. Because <laughs> he's been banned from every other social media platform. Man. Man, 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 man. But th that is really, really terrible news about the minimum wage. I really thought that went through. I'm really sorry to hear that it didn't. Because how anyone can live on $7.25 an hour? Well, people can't. That's, that's, that's just terrible. That's what they call the working poor. It's just, it's, it's outrageous and shameful and terrible. But there have been companies, big companies in this country, in Australia where I live, that have been ripping off their employees, like companies like 7-Eleven. I don't know if you guys have 7-Eleven in the United States. Um, large supermarket chains, a lot of restaurants, really well-known expensive restaurants. They What they do is they employ a lot of overseas students who don't know the laws and they underpay them. They don't pay them a superannuation, they underpay their hourly rate. Uh, and, been, and recently have been a lot of um, court cases brought because people, <laughs> because it's been found out, journalists have found out and they've reported on it and these companies have gotten into huge amounts of trouble. Uh, so I, it really annoys me when I hear companies behaving like that, like multinational companies that make millions in profit trying to rip off people living in poverty. It stinks. Absolutely stinks. UV entry hallway painted. We want that. UV if available. Single mesh. Create from face. Merge selection. Da, 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 da. Let's have a look at the channels. Um, I might run these in sRGB instead of linear. Normally you'd stick to linear, particularly if you're doing work in uh, film. But because we're creating stuff that's going to be sent to a game. We will stick to SRGB. Um, and we may bring in the texture map as well. Again, I'm, I have not used Marion in quite a while, so uh, I'm still trying to remember exactly how I do stuff. We want the export. We don't want it as an XM, X, EXR. In fact, what I want to do is I want to go star dot star. It's one of the weird things with Mari, the way it filters stuff like this. But anyway, um, what was it called? What was it called? Turret, 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 turret. That one. Uh, we don't need to change the color settings or the lighting. Let's see how we go here. Create a new project. Uh, what's going on? What, 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 what? Snappy Girl says one of the promises Biden said he'd do is to cancel 50,000 student loan debt. He could do that with a stroke of a pen and he hasn't done it yet. It was a campaign promise. He's just not doing it now. Why isn't he doing enough? I always, I assumed it was because he was having problems getting it through, getting it passed because of one of those senators over there in the United States that um, is a Democrat but behaves like a Republican. I can't remember his name. The one that caused all the problems with Biden getting the um, Build Back Better or whatever you called it, infrastructure bill up. I always assumed he was having problems because of, you know, a couple of, of senators like him who, who was supposed to be Democrat but behaved like a Republican. Uh, Euro says the UK isn't called a rip off Britain for no reason. Oh, wow. Selfless one says 7-Eleven, yes, but now they are 5 to 12s in my state. <laughs> You're talking about the hours. Yeah, well, they're, they're open 24 hours a day here. I don't know why they call them 7-Eleven. And they're incredibly expensive. 
like if you just want to buy milk or something, you pay, pay three times as much at a 7-Eleven as you do at a supermarket. So don't do your grocery shopping at a 7-Eleven. Abigail says it's 12 hour where I live. It's 24 hours here. I've got one just around the corner from where I live, like within walking distance, but maybe a two minute walk. And they're open 24 hours a day, which is why they're underpaying their staff because, you know, they've got to get someone to work at the 2 a.m. shift, I guess. Yuri says he's too busy trying to create a war in Ukraine <laughs> uh, to up your minimum wages. Uh, I've avoided talking about the whole Ukraine thing because it's just so depressing. We just can't seem to get our shit together, can we, guys? As far as war goes, we just, you know, finish one and start another one. It's never ending. Selfless One says, Costco here. Yeah, we've got Costco here as well. I've never been to a Costco. Uh, in, in Illinois, is it? Starts you at $15 an hour to push carts, $12.50 is the minimum wage, I think, for the state. Well, at least they're paying above the minimum wage. I mean, that's that's good. Uh, Snappy Girl says he's a typical politician, promises crap, and, <laughs> and when elected, not doing it, they all, they're all like that, aren't they? That's the problem. They all tell us all these wonderful things. They all make these wonderful promises, and when they get into power, nothing gets done. Uh, Snappy Girl says uh, he's having issues with that too. Still a lot of things he can do via executive orders that he's not doing. Minimum wage is $12 an hour where I live. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's about $28 an hour in Australian. I don't know what that converts to in, to US. But yeah, about $28 Australian is minimum wage. Uh, Smurf says always has been, always will be. It shouldn't be though. That's yeah, It shouldn't be like that. They shouldn't be allowed to make promises and then break them or not keep them. They all do it and they shouldn't be allowed to. We shouldn't let them. Snobby Girl says, here's my issue with Ukraine. I can't trust my government. They lie. They lied about chemical biological weapons to get us in Iraq. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, and said we're going after Bin Laden. Zero chemical weapons found. Bin Laden isn't there. Euro says our governments could fix a lot of issues overnight, but uh, doubling minimum wages. Norway did it a number of years ago due to disparity in wage rates versus cost of living. It didn't hurt their economy. No. And uh, don't Norway also have what they call, um, oh, what do they call it? Where they, where they pay every citizen a certain amount of money as well. I can't, they've got a name for it. It's like Social Security, but it's it's a guaranteed something or other. It's, it's, it's either Norway or Greenland or somewhere around there. But yeah, it hasn't hurt their economy. No, no, that's, it's, it's, it's a, this, this rubbish argument that politicians come out with saying, oh, we can't pay people too much or we can't, we have to discourage people from being on Social Security because it, it discourages them from wanting to work is nonsense. Uh, people don't want to live in poverty. They don't choose to live in poverty. They don't make themselves unemployed so they can go on benefits and live in poverty. People don't behave that way. Yet that's the argument politicians use for for trying to get people off of social security or benefits and, and not raising social security or benefits to match inflation. Because uh, um, unemployment benefits in this country haven't risen for like, 20 years and if you have you know how much inflation has gone up in 20 years particularly in the last couple of years yet the uh, the amount of money that they pay to unemployed people has not risen in 20 years and their argument is well if we raise it it encourages people not to work which is just it's such a garbage 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 argument it makes me very angry because it's rubbish it's, it's absolute rubbish complete and utter nonsense uh, it didn't bring my texture map in, so I must have done something wrong. Let's do this again. Let's bring our texture map in again.
Nice. Oh wow. Let's do one more. Oh, oh <laughs> I'm bringing in the wrong uh, texture map. <laughs> I'm bringing the turret texture map into uh, what should not be the turret, which is something that is the roof beam. <laughs> I'm thinking, what? What's going on here? Man. Uh, roof beam is what we're looking for. There we go. Roof beam, both base color. That's the one. There we go, that looks better. <laughs> uh, just ignore me. Alrighty. So, what we want to do is we want to paint some um, some uh, dirt on this. Nero says, but buy equals buy. Hair Sniper Girl says, your people get paid $20.13 US, uh, a lot more than we get paid here. Well, there you go. Yeah, minimum wage is $28 Australian, which is across the country because it's set by the federal government, not the state governments. So that is the minimum wage. I'm not saying that, like I said, there have been companies who have been caught out paying like international students, university students, under the minimum wage, which because they don't know any better. The students don't know any better. So there have been companies caught out doing that, but legally, that is the minimum wage. So twenty dollars thirteen US. Us uh, universal income. Thank you, selfless one. Yes, universal income is the thing. I'm, I thought I think it's Norway that does it. But yeah, because I think universal income is a wonderful idea. It's basically every citizen in the country gets paid a certain amount every month, however, a week, however it works by the government as a universal income. It's to keep people above the poverty line so that people don't starve to death or, you know, rob or whatever to, to, to survive. And it, it's worked really well in that country. So why they don't do it around the world is beyond me. It's because you get these nasty, nasty politicians who want to be able to exploit people. Like they've got mates in business or they run businesses themselves. And they want to be able to exploit people, so they don't want people to have like a minimum living wage. That's what it is. It's as blatant as anything. And those people should be called out about it. Here it says, Greenland is pretty far from Norway yet. I know it is, I know it is. I was being general. Uh, Finland was doing trials of, oh, it was Finland doing trials, but there is one country that does do a, a universal income and has done it for a few years. I thought it was Norway. I could be wrong though. Sniper Girl says, uh, it's Phil <laughs> to Euro. <laughs> That's right. She knows what I'm like. Uh, Selfless One says, is on SSI, will work 12 hours a day for a smile. <laughs> Euro says Aussie dollar isn't the same as the US dollar. No, it's not. You need to be. You need to put it through an exchange. Uh, put it through exchange rates. Um, Sniper Girl says the Euro. I know he said twenty eight where he is. I used Google to convert it. Came out at twenty dollars thirteen US, which will fluctuate based on the exchange rate, obviously. Google knows all. That's right. Sniper Girl says uh, if Biden really, really wanted to fight to raise the minimum wage. All you have to do is run advertisements against people that are against raising it. They won't get elected in the midterms. Yeah, you've got those coming up this year, haven't you? Got midterms, I believe. All right, now what we need to do is I want to create a new layer, and I want to go to my shell, and let's find a texture. Uh, da -da -da -da. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You guys will have seen me do this before when we were working on that um, uh, art. I want to say Art New Bay, but it wasn't. It was um, that rotunda thing we did. When we're adding dirt to it, we're going to be doing the same thing here. Let's try this texture. Let us, let us, let us. 
That's not the one I want. Let's try this one. That's the one I want. I want the inverted version because I'm looking. I'm going for the dark, not the light. Let's scale it back. <laughs> you see, I'm forgetting which buttons are which already. Uh, let's try moving it. Is this the one I want? Maybe not. Smurf says, bar, don't remind me. Sniper Girl says, uh, yeah. And the Dems are, pla uh, are playing nice. Yeah, they shouldn't be playing nice. I mean, you know, and did the Republican, play, Republican Party play nice when they were in government? No. So I, I always, I, I remember when Biden first took over, actually, him saying he wanted to reach out to both sides of politics, which, look, is a noble thing to be doing or to want to do. But they didn't do that with uh, the Democrats, so in my, my opinion, if it was me, I would have said, buggy you lot, look at the way you behave, I'm not going to be reaching out to you. But he was trying to play the politician, I guess. But that didn't seem, didn't seem to work out too well for him in the end anyway, so... So why bother? Smurf says TV is full of attack ads and the candidates are mostly crazy. <laughs> I've given up watching. I have trying to avoid watching politics now because I'm so tired of it all. I really am. Not 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 talking American politics. I'm talking Australian politics because we we've got a real horror as a prime minister at the moment as well. So every time he puts his head, every time his head pops up on TV, I change the channel because I just can't stand listening to him. And, you know, if I ignore it, it doesn't exist. Um, Sniper Girl says Republicans are literally not running on any policies at all. Democrats should be like, dude, elect us if we'll do this, this and this for you. And if elected actually do the things they say they're going to do. Novel idea? I know. Make it 3D! Hey, make it 3D. It's good to see you. I see that you've recommended to Sniper Girl she save up her points so she can torture me more with that, little, with that pony game. So thank you. Thank you, Maker 3D. I hope you had a good weekend. Maker 3D says, does Phil really have to read everything? I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> yes, I do. I want to acknowledge everything everyone says in my chat. The whole reason Twitch exists is, is the interaction with the chat. If all I wanted to do was do the video stuff, then I'd just do YouTube. <laughs> And people get irate if I don't read their message. They do. Not so much you guys, but the people people do. They get irate. Um, I'm just not sure if this is the texture I really want. Mm. Mm. Um, 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 um. Let's... Um. I was really going more of a streaky look and less of this. This is a good good for the bases of the um, objects, but I was looking for more of a streaky look. A selfless one says we need a shaman to run the nation, or at least a scientist. Uh, as Sniper Girl says to make it 3D, yes, because it's Phil. I can't help myself, I'm a chatterbox. You know that, guys. I have to read everything. Uh, Sniper Girl says reach out to both sides of politics. Zero Republicans vote for anything he's wanted to do. So. I know. I won't bother. Maker3D says, poopy pants, just checking. <laughs> Did you have a good weekend, make it 3 d Sniper Girl says, well, I just like. If a bill has uh, corporate handouts for Republicans here, uh, Republicans have voted for it. What a surprise. Yura says, there's too much legislative bribery, lobbying and politics these days. Yep. We got another storm ramping up outside. Wind, rain. Oh, nice. I like a nice. You guys know, I, I when I go to bed, I listen to a thunderstorm. That's my white noise is thunder and rain. I love the sound of thunder and rain. A good storm is always good. So yeah, I'm looking, looking for a uh, texture that... I'm looking for a specific texture. 
That's what Phil's trying to say. And I know I've got one because I've used it before. I just can't remember. I think it might have been one of these. Yeah, let's have a look at this one. Now, what I'm going to have to do here is because this is a white on black and we want a black on white. Um, we're going to have to probably play with the... Um, Hang on, Phil is getting confused here. There we go, that's what I want. I'm on my new layer, aren't I? Yes. Oh, that looks very low resolution. I'm going to have to check this. I'm just going to do a bake out by... Um, yeah, there's a problem with the resolution. Let's go back. Oh, there's always something. Now, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There is a setting somewhere. And I can't quite remember where. Is it in the preferences? I didn't think it was in the preferences. Because by by default, Maori defaults to a really low resolution, which is bizarre. Considering it's used for film most of the time. First the pressure projection. No. Uh, and there is it's a specific setting, but I cannot remember where exactly it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I thought it was on the painting. Paint buffer. Oh, here we go. Buffer size. I think it might be that one. No, it's not that one. It might just be the resolution of the texture, you know, because we're using a, a really, really large object. So it could be. Into buffer size. Oh, um, hang on, what have we got here? Mega three D says. Love out loud, the dude read it out loud, yes, nice, yes, I had a good weekend, good. <laughs> you get thunder and rain in hell? <laughs> yeah, I know. Look at the pictures I posted of Australia, you'd think I live in hell. Hero says, they get boring when you have months of them in winter. Oh, I, I never get bored of the sound. Selfless One says, okay, I go for it and let you get your art done. Talk to you later. Well, good to see you, Selfless One. You have a good night. Sniper Girl says, here's the issue with Democrats. They think that they went on Trump bad. 
you do all these illegal things while in office. Uh, issue is nobody really cares due to him being bad. Won't help them now. Mm. It's all white noise that's been going on for a while. Make it 3D says I'm running late, so I have to ask, what is that software you're using? I am using Mari by the Foundry. So, M A R I. I will do a Google search for you. M A R I is the software, and it's this made by a company called The Foundry. I will post the link in Twitch chat if you're interested. You can download a free version of it that they let you use. Oh, but it's it's limited. I don't think you can work on textures larger than 4K. But you generally, if you're doing game stuff, 4K is enough anyway. Um, yeah. So try it. I like it. It's used in film a lot. It's being used in games uh, as well. But generally, it was created for film work. It is good software. It is expensive software, as you can see. <laughs> But, like I said, they give you a, a what they call an indie version, I think, or they used to. I'm pretty sure they still do, which is free and just restricted by the uh, you can't you can't work on textures larger than 4K. Uh, and trust me, this is cheaper than it used to be. It used to be much more expensive than this. And you can subscribe monthly if you really want to. But yeah, if you just want to download and play around with it, Download the free version. It is good software. Yes, Mari. Sniper, sniper, uh, sniper Girl says it was Mari. Yep. It's some expensive stuff. Yeah. Sniper Girl says yes and no. They do a free non commercial license in Mari. That's exactly right. If you want to learn it, you just saw the button. Just click that button, download the free version. He's using money. <laughs> Snobby Girl says, I already beat you. Oh, you did too. Sorry, I didn't see it. Thank you, Snobby Girl. <laughs> Thank you, 3D says, I've not seen a free non-commercial version. Just checked the site, but didn't see it. Unless they've changed it, they should be. They've always given away what they call an, an in, indie version or something. I, I think they call it an indie version which is the uh, free version that's just limited by texture size. It may, it may, it may be, um, have, they may have changed it. Companies change that sort of stuff all the time. But they used to. And it is expensive. My advice to you would be, if, you, if, you, if, you're on, if you've got no money to spend on your texture painting software, uh, use Quixel Mixer. Uh, if you have some, like, if you've got some money you want to spend on on uh, texture painting, then you can either go with Marmoset or Substance Painter. And then if you really want to splash out on your texture painting software, go with Mari. But I still think Substance Painter is probably, of the three, I like Mari because I like doing the hand painting style. You can do that in Painter anyway. Um, I like the fact that Mari can, you can create, there is no limit on texture size. Like, you know, with Painter, 8K is the limit. There is no limit in Mari. I could create 128K texture if I wanted to. It was built for film work, to, to texture assets for film. And film uses huge, huge textures. So and that's why I like Mari. Um, but it is expensive. Uh, Make it 3D says, I've not seen a free non-commercial version. No, no, no. Euro says, the Mari non-commercial is limited to 4K. Yeah, I, I knew it was limited to, to the texture resolution. Yeah. I'm going to work out what's going on here. Now, um, it may just be that my, the resolution of my texture map here is just too low. But I thought that there was another setting in Mari. It wasn't the paint buffer, I don't think. Although it might have been. Uh, but that's not helping us, unfortunately, because when we paint our texture down, we're getting a pixelation. 
Now that generally means I think that the my, the resolution of my texture map is just too low. Um, which is really annoying. I might just do a quick Google search because I can't quite remember. Mari uh, projection low res. Let's see what that says. Adjusting texture resolution. We don't want to use a video. Mari texture resolution. It looks like the blurry is part of the UDIM. The UV patch size individual for each UDIM. Just right click on the UDIM and select resize patch size. No, we're working on a 4K texture. Hmm. Just as an experiment, I might uh, resize this to, let's go 16K, why not? I want to see what, it, what difference this might make. No patches selected. Would you like to resize all? Yes. This is what I mean with Mari. There's no limit on texture size. Uh, of course, the bigger the texture size, the more powerful your machine needs to be and the more memory you will need. So now we're up to 16K. I just want to see if that... Um, makes any difference. Where did my model go? There it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is not what I mean. There, there's another setting somewhere else. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I'm doing this just for science. For science. So let's see. Now you see, nice and crisp. So it is actually. Uh, so what we look, what we can do is, I can, I can. We'll work at 16k. I'll paint in my detailing. We'll export the texture, and then I'll do a reduction in um, Photoshop. We'll see how that goes. Smurf says, "Why, why this not work? Yes, why this not work?" Yuri says, "Those islands are tiny." They are tiny, you are correct. Let's... Um, 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 um. Let me... There's a couple of ways we can go. I can either work this way at 16K, but you, you're probably right. Let's jump into Max. Let's isolate this piece of geometry. I thought this... I think this may have been one of the ones we didn't retexture. It may have come this way straight from um, Quixel. So let's see. I'm going to do an unwrap. You are right, they are tiny. Let's do a... Mm, I don't do that. I'm going to do an unwrap to map channel 2. Let's send this. Oh. Let's, let's do this. I think th this may have been a, a map that was, that was never um, remapped. I didn't do the re UV mapping on it. I think it might be Quixel thingy. Uh, let's duplicate it and send it to Ryzen. And let's 
let's get Ryzen. To re UV map it. Okay, now. Let's not get Ryzen to do it, let's do it in Max. That was the copy, wasn't it? Yep. Uh, UV map, we'll go with box. Let's do an unwrap map channel 2 and move them. Hang on, let me have a look at what Max has done. Max has also broken it up. I'm just waiting for Max to do a repack. It may have been the way that I've uh, attached the pieces together as well. That's causing the UV problem. Yeah, Ma Max is actually repacking it. A similar way. Let us do this. Set on the X form. Let us try that again. Um, send it to Ryzen. Needs to be an edit poly for Ryzen, otherwise, it complains. You, you, you. I don't think that's helping. Not really. Because it's, you see how it's made up of actual pieces. Um, it's going to take me a, a lifetime to go through these and uh, and stitch these different pieces together. But that would be one way to do it. Would be to stitch the different pieces together in the UV map. 
but that will take an eternity. I'm just trying to think of a better way to do it. Um. Well, I guess we could remodel it because we're really only using the texture as a color underneath. So what we could do, we could, we could, we could do it this way, I guess. So if we select a section there's something about you they used to call me unaware and i'm holding on to the final breath of air and I used to hang our pictures up by the bed where you used to lie. let's detach it With all those words, this is a copy we're working on anyway so it's all good then we can select, turn on soft selection. Now this is going to stretch the UVs, but we, we can then take it back into Substance Painter. Paint over it. Okay, so let's duplicate that to this end and mirror it. Duplicate it. Just rotate it 180 degrees. Let's get rid of the original. Touch these pieces together. Uh, let's duplicate it one more time. Let us send this to Ryzen. Max. 
Okay, let's throw an unwrap down and move to map channel 2. Copy. Do I render to bake to texture? Roof Beams, we're going to call it Roof Beams Revision 2, R2, Baked, Baked, Copy our uh, channel info. Let's rename this to R2 for revision 2. Let's move this one back into place of the other one. Get rid of the original. Okay, let's export this model. Jump back into Mari. Now I don't think there's a way to edit the project unfortunately. Like you know in Substance Painter, if you change the model you can edit the project configuration and re-import the, the new model. I don't believe there is a way in Mari to do that. So we haven't done any work anyway, so let's just create a new project. So we're going to close this one. I'm just going to remove that, create a new project, uh, roof beams, that's the one we want. Uh, again now I'm going to be working in sRGB. Everything else should be fine. Let's bring in our texture. didn't um, re-texture in Painter, which I really should have. Um, maybe do that after we do the Mari. So let's, let's check the Mari stuff first. Uh, this is root beams, isn't it?
Red Band. I think it's this one that we want. No. That's right. That's because we didn't re paint it. So we need to bring in the baked version from Mac. Which will be the bank. Is that correct? Or am I wrong? <laughs> Phil's getting a headache. Uh, Yuri says, Ram go brr, <laughs> make it 3D. <laughs> Snappy Girl's back. Snappy Girl says, the delivery person was like, sorry for the wait. I'm thinking wait was only like 10 minutes. What are you apologizing for? Yuri says, it was me. I'd cut a side off and one end, unwrap it and uh, abuse the symmetry to stack the UVs. We don't want to stack the UVs to double the text length, but yeah, we don't want to work with stack UVs. I'm trying to avoid stacking the UVs. That's the whole reason for me retexturing it. Um, yeah, I'm trying to avoid stacking them because with stack UVs, when we texture paint them, whatever we paint on one side is going to be repeated on the other or wherever it's been stacked. Uh, I don't want that. Plus, you, we're bringing it into a game engine. You don't want stacked UVs with light maps because that won't work well, even though you can re-UV map it for light mapping. Um, but we're trying to avoid stacked UVs, overlapping UVs. But you are correct. If you want the highest texture density on the smallest texture size, stacking is a good way to go. Uh, stacking or, or tiling. But um, yeah, we're trying to avoid both of those. If we can. If we can. Uh, Smurf says, Revision 2, please work final, really final. <laughs> Sniper Kel says, Getting closer and closer. You got 24 point, 22 and uh, nearly 22 and a half thousand points. She needs 30,000 to get me to play that pony game. So she's almost there. No stack UVs make it 3D. No, we're not stacking UVs. No <laughs> coward. <laughs> no, no stacked UVs. We're trying to we're not use stacked UVs. Now I've got to get the right texture map for this. Um, did I bring the right model in to begin with? I think I did. So am I bringing the wrong texture map in? Makes my brain hurt. I thought I, I saved it under bake, didn't I? Hallway? Baked. Should be. Roof beams. Well it was roof oh roof beams are two. That's the one we want. There we go. That should be the one. There we go. Okay. Man. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this gets us. It still looks like we might be a little low res though. Let's just bring in a texture map. Again, I'm getting confused with all the different buttons between the different programs. They all use different buttons. Um, I'm going to go and put it on a new layer. No, look, we're still getting that low resolution. Um, it, the UV mapping, that is the problem. Let's isolate this piece again. Let's try doing well, again, let's duplicate it. Get Max to do a box map. 
do an unwrap to channel two. And we'll look at the mapping. Max's mapping is such rubbish. Uh, Sniper Girl says yes and no, there's ways around that. I use stacked UVs for UV channel 1 to ensure that the UV scale, visual scale, textile density, UV mat, UV mat 2, I have it set up to go off of that for material layering. And you can do that with the um, with the light map UVing as well. Set it up to a different channel and so if you are using overlapping UVs, because light maps can't have overlapping UVs, they won't light map correctly. But yeah, give it a different channel, you can do it that way. Mega3D says to Snappy Girl, can I gift you my points? <laughs> uh, Snappy Girl says, so stack UVs without it looking like it's stacked. Uh, she says to make it 3D, I wish you could. Yes, yeah, you can't gift points, unfortunately. Or fortunately for me. Make it 3D says, why are you using Mari for this anyway? Well, this is a very good, this is a very good question, you know. A very good question. Why am I using Mari for this? Well, I usually use Mari for this sort of stuff, but you're right, I don't have to. We could jump back into Painter and we could do it all in Painter, really. So, there's no reason for me to really use Mari. Except, it's a bit of a different bit of software for you guys to watch me work in. Really? But, not necessary. I'm going to close Mari down. Let's uh, open up the project we created with that. Uh... Look, we don't really even need to do this. I'm being really pedantic. If we look at the room, let me get rid of. Let, let me reopen the original room because I don't want to save anything we've done here. Attach this one. There is no reason for it. I'm just, yeah, being super pedantic. The room doesn't need it. So that would have mean I've spent an entire stream doing virtually nothing. I hate that. I hate wasting time like that. But anyway. <laughs> so yeah, the room doesn't actually really need uh, any overpainting. I was just being, yeah, super. Oh no, <laughs> I forgot that we did, we did do something. We did the turret, didn't we? And I forgot to, <laughs> I didn't, oh man. I didn't think we'd done anything. I forgot we'd done the turret, so I didn't save the original file. So now we've got to do the turret again. Oh, maybe not actually. What we can do is we can, Call this turret old. We can import the model we exported before. Uh, which will be... Nouveau entry, nouveau entry. M -m 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 -m. Here. Uh, where did we save it to? Exports. Did I save it to exports or somewhere else? No, I'm pretty sure it was exports. Frame support. this one, the turret. Let's import the turret again. Which should put it exactly where the old one was anyway. And it didn't. That's okay. Let's just rotate it. Move it. Uh, 
this one, does it have the windows in it? No. Let me make sure I have the right one by signing material. Which will be in exports. This one. In fact, what we can do is we should be able to just I'm just going to temporarily again remove the window. Not sure what's going on there, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and copy the UVs across. So it may not let me again. Yeah, it's not letting me copy them over. Let me reset this. Edit mm, the normal. <coughs> reset them. Alright, we're just going to replace one with the other. So that's the easiest, quickest, and best way to go. Oh, no, <laughs> I don't want to make a copy. I want to line them up so that our windows line up. Okay, turret, and we want to remove the old one, which is turret old, and then we want to attach. Windows. Okay. Now we're good. Good to go. Let me just get my camera in position again. Alright, let me do a quick save here. I'm going to save it as another revision. And I'm getting a bit sick of doing this whole way, so we're not going to finish it today anyway. So let's jump into retexturing up some of the um, ruined church pieces. Uh, Snappy Girl says, that's why I use UV Map 2 for the layering. UV Map 2 by default is the light map. Maker 3D says you didn't do anything and you waste your time. That's how I know. Oh, what? You didn't do nothing. You waste time. That's something. <laughs> Wasting time is not a good thing though. Well, we did. We, we uh, dirtied up the turret. <laughs> we did that. We're going to jump into the um, ruined church though. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's make sure this one's saved. I, I'm still probably going to have to dirty up. Just, oh, I want the bases here to be a bit dirtier. Um, the walls and stuff is probably okay, but yeah, around the bases here, really, we should have to add a dirt layer. But let's jump into the church. Um, this one. This is just a very basic ruined church thing. <laughs> Snowy Girl says, is it unreal? Is there a way to set a different UV map as the light map? Yes, there is. There's an, there's a, uh, an option in the mesh um, editor. 
where you can set which channel you want for your light map. Or you can even get Unreal to um to recalculate a light map for you automatically. So this is a church ruin. Again, not my model, but I'm retexturing it because uh, while he didn't do a bad job at texturing it up, it just looks too clean. This is a ruined church. This thing has been around, you know, it's been in ruin for at least 50, 60, 70 years. It's too clean. Uh, Snappy Girl says, interesting, okay, going to mod a few things on my meshes. Yeah, if, if you open up your mesh in the mesh editor on the right hand side, you can assign all of your light map channels and stuff and make adjustments there per mesh. Uh, Mega 3D says, don't believe him, Sniper Girl. He's a UV coward. He can't be trusted. It is. Trust me, it's there. I was looking at it yesterday. I was doing work in Unreal last night. Um, so yeah, while he's done a nice job at texturing it up, it's just way too clean. So, we are going to, and I've already created the uh, texture map, so, well, the, the material. I, I actually created a smart material that we're going to be using. So let's open up the piece, one, one of the pieces I've already done which is this one. So I'm text retexturing it up to make it look older and dirtier. So this is a, a smart material that I actually did create specifically for these church pieces. And I believe I've already saved it out as my ruined church. So all we have to do is bring in the other pieces and texture them up. There's a couple of other things we've got to do actually, because uh, he's also not... What I want to do here is I want to create a... He, he, he's only given me the low, low poly versions of the models. And I want to do a bake out in Substance Painter, so I'm going to have to create a high res version from the low res version, so that when we do a bake out we get a, a smooth corner on bricks and things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate one of these pieces. Um, church D underscore low res. I'm going to duplicate it or clone it. I'm going to call this one high res. Uh, we've selected the high res. We're going to throw a quantify mesh down and I'm going to go to uh, two levels, I guess. And then we're going to do a turbo smooth. Just so we have a nice soft edge on the different bits and pieces. Makes it look a bit more weathered as well. Smith says smart. Snappy Girl says, uh, I have it set up to use a light map to convert as a normal map. Uh, simulating peeling paint edges. Issues if you have to use UV map zero for it. If you can use zero for the light map instead of one, I can make it work. I don't remember if you can use zero or not. I, I think it might start at one. I don't think you can use zero, but I could be wrong. I know you can change it, but I don't know if you can change it to zero. Uh, Make it 3D says, oh, hang on, you can do a, you, you can do a zero divide uh, chamfer on corners and then use weighted normals to get a clean curved corner without the need for a high poly model. I'm going to be doing a bake out from the high to the low and painter anyway. So, much of mushrooms. You'll find out? Yeah, find out. I'm curious as well, Sniper Girl. Um, yeah, no, you are correct, um, Make it 3D, but we're going to be baking it down to the low uh, res model inside of. Um, painter. So let us export section D into the right folder, which is Ruin Church. Uh, exports. Hang on.
I've already exported the low res versions of them, so I just need to re export the high res, I think. Church D. So let's create a new project. That was just so you can see the smart material I've made that we're going to be using. Let's select the right model. Let's see, Church D. We can discard, we didn't actually do any changes to this. Okay, now let's bake out from the high res we just made. Uh, oh, I didn't do ID mapping. We may have to come back and do that, but let's have a look. Yeah, I need to do some ID mapping. So let's jump back into Max because I need to be able to assign. We're going to do this on the low res version of the high. And we'll give that its own color. It already has its own color. Okay, it looks like the low res version I have already ID mapped, which is good. So that just means in Painter, we need to bake out, get rid of the high because it's baking from the low, only bake out the ID map and make sure we're working with vertex color. Piece is called Church B. Let's find the smart material. It should be called My Ruined Church. My Ruin Church. Come on, Substance. There we go. Now I just need to make sure we go through and find the right materials. Uh, church Con, Church Arch. I've got to remember which one's which. I think it's the third side. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's... No, that's... Where is it? Maybe. Which means this one should also be... Okay. <laughs> i got to remember how I've, I set this up, this smart material up. I know I'm using a dark stone on these corner pieces, that's what I'm looking for. Where is that dark stone? Let's get rid of that blank layer. Not that. Get rid of that. the problem I can't quite remember when I made the smart material. I think it might be. No, it's not there. Where I actually put it. Hmm. Let me have a look here. We've got a column in the corner. So I have one called 
columns. So you would think that that's the one that's columns. So let's pick that. Okay, that's correct. Let's get rid of the blue. So columns is good. Warm plaster. Another girl says you can do UV map zero for a light map in Unreal. Oh, good to know. Well, Unreal 5, not a bit oh, sure about 4. I can't remember either whether you can go down to zero and four or it starts at one. Yeah, I can't remember. I don't know. But you can imply. So there you go. Mega3D says, don't believe her, Phil. She's a girl and she can't be trusted. <laughs> don't say that about girls. That's bad. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> I know he's joking. Where is that? Uh... God, for life of me, I can't find where I put the shaley bits that go at the top of the column. Where? No, 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 Maybe it was this one. That's the one. <laughs> there we go. Uh, all right. Uh, Snappy Girl says, in Unreal 5, it's under the main static mesh settings, general sidebar. Tell it to show more for options and light map coordinate index to set it to set it in Unreal Engine 4. I'm pretty sure it's in the same spot on the uh, right hand column under more settings, light map index. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, I don't think they've moved it between UE4 and UE5. It's in the same spot for both. Even though I haven't used Unreal Engine 5, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in the same spot. <coughs> Mega3D says, wait, Phil can't be trusted because he's a UV coward and Snappy Girl can't be trusted because she's a girl. That makes both trustworthy, yay. Yeah. <laughs> Man. All right. And I, I don't think there's anything else I need to do to this. There's no arches in this one, so I don't need to set that material up. <laughs> Let's just save this out. File. Save as. Put it in the right folder. Ruin church. Church D. I'm just going to export the textures. Or textures, textures. Um, yeah, my no, textures should do. Export. I don't think I exported the first piece, so I'm just going to uh, open that up and export that as well. So save. Open recent church A. Wait for it to finish loading. There we go. Export textures, textures, export. Okay, let's jump back into Max. How are we going here? We might pick this up next week, I think. We've just got a few other bits and pieces that we need to export, retexture. Um, yeah, because I want to start working in Unreal. I want us to start working back in the Unreal Engine again. Um, so tomorrow's stream is going to be a Just Chat. So tomorrow is Just Chat. We can talk about anything and everything you guys want to talk about. Uh, 
Mega3D says, in case you're wondering, the two negatives equal a positive. Snappy Girl says, this actually solves my last hurdle. I'll have to mod the UV channels on the meshes, but that's doable. The UV map 1 for the texel density and UV map 0 for the layer setup light map. Now that way I can add height map as needed to raise sections for peeling paint. Means this has to be done within the 0 to 1 and on UV 0. Smurf says we can talk about how, how I tried a brand new, a new a new brand of frozen pizza and it was good. There you go, you got to tell us all about that because our frozen pizzas are usually awful. So tomorrow's stream will be just chat. We can talk about anything and any, everything you guys want to. It doesn't have to be related to art or 3D. Um, <laughs> I do want to thank you guys though very much for hanging out with me today and for being here. I really do appreciate it. You're quite welcome. I'll be back again, uh, back again tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific in the United States. Don't we already talk about everything Maker 3D says? We do. Um, but it gives me an excuse not to do any work if it's an official just chat stream, doesn't it? Uh, Smurf says, someone remind me to remember pizza. The pizza. Yes, remind us tomorrow about the pizza for Smurf. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific time. You have a good night, good day, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. And I'll be back again tomorrow. See you guys.